Now you get to ride this one. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! The trike! All right, what up, Blackheads? We are doing some test rides today with my man, Aaron, or a a Ron from Orlando Harley. You're not, that's not gonna piss you off, is it? People come in and say, no. what up, a a Ron? The person says, get air, do that. I get that all the time. Yeah, you're thanks, right. thanks, Key and Peel. All of that. a a Ron, where are you? Where is a a Ron right now? Yeah. <laughs> Go see Principal O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're out here with my man Aaron, um, doing some test rides from Orlando Harley. Uh, we did uh, some rides, uh, reviews, thoughts on the uh, breakout and the uh, CVO breakout, which is awesome. If you guys want to check that out, go see that video. And now, somehow, there's a trike on the lot that's supposed to be like badass amazing. We had like three people, three of the sales guys come up and say, Have you guys ridden the trike? Have you guys ridden the trike? Have you guys ridden the trike? <laughs> So apparently this is like an amazing badass strike. So what's the uh, what's the info on this thing, man? All right, so this one is a 2017 freewheeler. So it's got the new Milwaukee 8 motor in it. It's 107 cubic inches. 117 cubic inches? 107 cubic inches. 107, okay. But it puts out a lot of power. It's a very torquey motor. Uh, and this one we customized at the shop. So we blacked everything out. Stock, this is all chrome. Uh, we powder coated everything, forks, wheels. Is there a steering damper on there? Yes. Holy sh**. Is there a steering damper on a Harley? <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. I've never seen that. What is it, Olin's? <laughs> I, I, that I don't know. That'd be hilarious. You see that? Yeah. That's crazy. And then it's got the full stage one kit with the Vanson Hines cross pipe headers, uh, the big oval mufflers. Trunk in the back. Oh, all right. Yeah, there you go. I mean, that's like... That's like a one body trunk, probably. I'd say so. <laughs> It'll work. Creepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we also added the Daymaker custom dynamics turn signals. All that fun, awesome stuff. So, dual disc in the front, and then what's in the rear? A disc on each side. Disc on each side in the rear? Okay, so it's dual disc front and rear. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> car tires. <laughs> what, what are the size of the tires on the back? <laughs> uh, that, that is a good question. They are car tires. Yeah. Yeah. Signature Dunlop. <laughs> That's cool. With the uh, Harley Harley rims, like hubs, logo in the center of it, and everything. Ooh, you guys got some boot scuff. That's not me. I haven't sat on this thing yet. <laughs> Reese. You. I had a pair of shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> you. So you got what floorboards on it, yep. and then your passenger ones as well. Uh, Screaming Eagle intake, dummy lights. Uh, pretty standard stuff here. Um, okay, so we got flush mounts. You don't have the what you call it um, remaining and oh uh, yeah yeah your selection. Oh um, cool. So the switch up here. Oh gotcha. Yeah, it still has all the all the same tack functionality. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. So you've got your selection switch up here, and then on the trikes, you're not you're not saying trike. You're saying well, the model is freewheeler. Freewheeler. It is a trike. Trike is like the family of the three-wheel motorcycles. Uh, this model specifically is called the freewheeler. Okay. Because uh, it's the it's Harley stripped-down trike. It's one of the newer models. Uh, so it's the same setup as the the tri glide, which is the fully loaded one, but without the trunk and the the fairing and the radio and all that stuff. Okay. And then on these, you have the reverse as well. And so you just press and hold that in in order to go backwards? Yeah, whenever it's in neutral, it's an electronic motor. So okay. you hold that down to turn it on, and then that is the, the throttle basically for the motor to go in reverse. And gotcha. You pop it in gear and you're good to go. Cool. So you pop it in gear to put deactivate it back into. Deactivate the motor. Okay, yeah. deactivate the reverse. Gotcha. Cool. Well, apparently this thing's a beast, so let's try it out. Dude, this is weird. I don't even know how to get on it. <laughs> 
well, I guess that, that is one major difference. The parking brake. This right here. Uh -huh. Just push it down, let it spring back up, and that'll uh, get Interesting. Hmm. Cool. That's got the heel toe shifter. Ooh, damn, son. I'm gonna try this reverse real quick. <laughs> Did also just hit it once? That's hilarious. All right, and so to get it out of it, hey, you just pull clutch in and press down into gear. That's it, man. Listen to that thing. Jesus. <laughs> what is that, a Vance and Hines? This is gonna be weird. This is my first time on a trek. Oh, this is so weird. Oh my god. Yo, <laughs> oh, turning is so strange on this thing. Alright, so the engine is warmed up just to give you guys a heads up. We've been doing test rides already. I feel like I'm gonna flip this thing. <laughs> oh, you guys see that? Like the front end wants to come up a little bit. Oh yeah, this thing is definitely strange. You're you're fighting like all of your previous uh, I don't know what uh, intuitions about riding a motorcycle because you have to lean usually to turn, but this thing is just like. Nope, you, you actually just turn and then that's that's the way you go So like you're leaning into it as you turn For instance this uh, this turn right here. Let's try not to flip Oh shit, I feel like I could raise this left tire man <laughs> This thing is this thing is fun man. It's Okay, I see what they're saying up at the dealership I feel like I'm riding a, I mean, I rode three-wheelers growing up, I rode four-wheelers growing up, so it feels just like that, except the three-wheelers that I was riding was, were nothing like a freaking 107. <laughs> this thing is crazy. fun all right so you've got all your pretty standard controls on the front um, except you know with the with the trike like I was saying earlier you got your selection switch up here so you're basically trip a trip B you've got your remaining mileage you've got your time you've got uh, what else your gear indicator slash rpm indicator you've got your signals I have been riding around with my high beam on apparently God, this thing sounds so good so yeah, the thing sounds really good. Uh, you've got your yeah your high beam, your low, and then you've got your pass, which you press and hold. Um, and then you've got cruise control on this one as well, which I'll demonstrate here in just a moment. Um, in order to turn that cruise control on, we're basically just going to press it in, and you will see a light on the dash, on the gauge rather. So press it in, light on the gauge comes on. And once I'm going up to speed, I think you have to be like over 10 miles an hour or something. You just press it downwards and then cruise control comes on and then you're good now cruise control on the normal bikes it's funny because on the normal bikes um, it's a little more difficult when you let go but this one being a trike you don't have to balance it at all right so you're able to let go of the handlebars and just like write a novel or do some knitting or whatever the hell you want to do um, to turn it off you're gonna press in or you can actually just touch the brake front or rear so I just touched rear brake it turned off but it is amber and then turn it off totally you press inwards Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Let's let it 
buddies. And then on your right side, you have your kill switch, your on-off switch. Uh, you've got your starter, you've got your hazards, you've got your right turn signal, and just your speedometer right there. Your LCD cluster, you've got your dummy lights right here in the center, and then your ignition um, off and your accessory right there. Flush mount caps, they've customized the crap out of this thing though, so it is uh, much different than say like a normal one that you would probably buy from the factory. It does have a steering damper up there, which is awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a steering damper on a Harley. So it's kind of cool to know that they can do that. Will we make the lights? Yeah, we will. Oh, dude, this thing is so weird. Like, I, like I feel like I can't reach my foot over and shift as well as I can <laughs> on a normal, uh, on a normal Harley. A normal Harley, like on a two-wheeled Harley, a two-wheeled motorcycle. <laughs> Dude, this thing in turning is ridiculous. It's a lot of fun, though. Overall thoughts, man, this thing is comfortable. It would be great for, like, long-distance rides, you know? Especially if you have, like, I don't know, problems with, say, mobility and... It's definitely, uh, you don't have to pay attention nearly as much to, uh, to your balance and to like counter steer, you know? I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the heel toe shifters, but that's just personal preference. You know, everybody's gonna, gonna have their own preference. I don't like having to raise my heel up. It just feels unnatural because I'm so used to having my feet on pegs. But overall thoughts of this thing, man, it is, it is cool. And it has some get up. Freaking trip in the rear tires. That's amazing. <laughs> this thing, it's cool, man. It's I can definitely understand why a couple of the sales guys have come up to me and said, have you ridden the track? Because it's uh, this thing is a lot of damn fun, to be honest. I am a fan, which is weird because I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Fuck that kid. My normal default reaction is to reach for kickstand, <laughs> but it's just not there. Yeah, that Dude, this thing is fun, man. Right? Freaking chirping tires and shifts. <laughs> we were putting bets if you guys crashed or not. <laughs> what? Well, that? Dude, like on the turns, I felt like the damn tire was going to come up. Like you're turning and I'm like leaning to try and keep my weight down on that side. It's fun, huh? That thing is crazy fun, man. The 107s are no joke, man. Yeah, it's... In the beginning, you think, like, uh... Yeah. Like, yeah, you're like, oh, it's a trike, but, like, no joke. Switching, like, shifting from, like, first to second, the rear tires are like, chirp. You're like, ooh, all right. Yeah, crazy, a lot of fun. I definitely think, like, the application is, yeah, more for, like, long distance. I mean, you don't have to focus on balancing as much. And, uh, I mean, like, whenever you put the cruise control on, like, with the Lowrider S, putting the cruise control on that, like if I take both of my hands off to like redo my gloves or something like that, you still have to kind of pay attention to balancing. But this thing you can turn the cruise control on and you're just like whatever. You know, you don't have to pay attention to it as much. So I mean, that's a cool application in terms of, I don't know, if somebody's like a little more, or not as capable in terms of like balance and stuff like that, and they still want to ride, I think it's a cool application. Definitely a lot of fun. I don't know that I would buy one anytime soon, but I like the feeling of being able to lean you know, and not have my uh, my back tire come up. What do these run, price-wise? Uh, a stock one is high 20s. High 20s? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of fun. Like I said, I don't know if I'd buy one anytime soon, but tons of fun to ride. It reminded me of riding a three-wheeler growing up, except like way more powerful. Yeah. Way more powerful, obviously. But yeah, same feeling if you've ever ridden a three-wheeler. But yeah, cool experience, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for taking, out, taking it out for a ride with us, man. Yeah, absolutely. If you guys are interested in any of the bikes up here, at Orlando Harley. Come talk to my boy, A.A. Ron, once again. Aaron, if you guys have any questions, post them up in the comments below. Either I'll answer them, or if we can get Aaron to... If people answer or ask questions that I don't know, I'll hit you up. And be like, hey man, come check out this video. Hit some of these dudes up. If you guys uh, enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell as well. You guys breaking it? Dropping parts everywhere. <laughs> All right, until next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant, and I'll catch y'all later. Deuces!